morning everybody afternoon evening whenever you may be watching this um, I am all out of the French dressing that I made up so I figured I'll bring you guys along while I make a new batch of it you know you, know, you don't really need a blender but it just makes it a lot easier to mix everything together and you want a spoon you may want a couple of them actually so I'll just leave that drawer open like I normally do whenever I'm doing anything okay so let's just get started with this. I'm gonna start off with ketchup. Um, because this is low FODMAP, I am using my homemade ketchup. I will leave a link. I can never remember, sorry. One of these corners, there'll be a card. You want half a cup. And you wanna be able to open the jar. put the whole jar in there that was half a cup okay note to self okay so half a cup of ketchup and no this doesn't look pretty until it's all blended and lovely that's when it starts looking pretty half a cup of mayonnaise if you want to make this vegan just use your vegan mayonnaise Lovely thing about when you're doing stuff yourself is you can make it to however you want. You can tailor it to yourself. It's so nice. That's what I love. Okay, I don't need that anymore. I need, I believe it's a quarter cup. Yeah. I have it all written down behind me. I don't have, I don't have everything memorized, despite what some people may think. Okay, I use apple cider vinegar. You could use white vinegar if you want. It's just I prefer apple cider vinegar and things. So I'm gonna add a quarter cup of that in there. We want, oh, I did need that half a cup still. <sighs> Sorry. I have one of these quarter cup. <laughs> Half a cup of salt or sugar, half a cup of salt. <whistles> yeah, no, half a cup of sugar. I did try doing a quarter cup of sugar. It just didn't taste right. You can play around with it until uh, it's for your taste. So quarter cup of sugar. One cup of oil, but I actually do three fourths of a cup of oil. I don't like the full cup of oil. And I'm using avocado oil. Oh, this is gonna take my whole bottle. Oh, no it's not. I still got a little bit left. All right. Does anybody else do that when they're using oil that they just kind of let it drip for a second so it can kind of drip out? Take that, take that, because I don't need that or that. Now I need this, because now we're getting into spices. We want half a teaspoon of salt. I actually do go a little shy on the salt. One teaspoon of paprika. I'm using smoked paprika. Use regular if you want. I just like the flavor it gives because I'm a little weird like that. And I don't use much black pepper. I do use it, but I don't use a lot of it. So I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of chipotle chili pepper. Use black pepper, use whatever you would like to use. Quarter teaspoon of that. And then we are going to put it on the blender and give it a blitz. So I'll bring you guys back in a second. I am so sorry guys, I realized I forgot to give you like a close up of what it looks like before it's blended. It looks disgusting, it really does. But in the end, let me come a little closer to you. In the end, it looks ah what the, like this. Ooh. Now what I like doing is just giving it a little taste, just to make sure. 
<laughs> that everything is way I like it. Mm -hmm. And it is. <laughs> that paprika, the smoked paprika, takes it up to like next level. Seriously. Now, mm. Mm -hmm. now I store mine in a flip top bottle because this is about three cups, roughly. Um, and this will hold three cups. You can store it in a mason jar, whatever you like. I just like storing this because I have them. It's an old kombucha bottle that I've saved. And now I'm gonna pour this in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not gonna make it sit here and watch that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you again really soon. Bye.